Hi, coaches Scott Van Pelt, Monty. Thank you so much for taking the time uh, to be on with us. Congratulations. Uh, I, I wonder, in a moment like this, how do you properly allow yourself to enjoy a moment while still, <laughs> while still focusing on what are going to be the most important games your team will be playing coming up here in the finals? Yeah, it's new for me for sure. Um, you know, I, I've I've wanted to be a part of this um, all of my career, and and when you get into the league, uh, you think it's easy, especially when you you are a part of an organization like the Spurs, um, and you watch them go through deep runs, and you're a part of it um, different times of your career at different times. Um, but to be a head coach in this position. It's hard to describe, Scott. I'm just grateful. Um, and I think I'm just getting old because I really enjoyed <laughs> watching our players enjoy the moment. Um, but I'm so blessed to, to coach the guys that I coach, to work with the people I work with, uh, to have a job. Um, this kind of job is something that I don't take for granted. Monty, when I was talking with Jeff Van Gundy and Mark Jackson about you, it's my observation. I think you allow your guys to be your guys. Mark Jackson says they know you give a crap about them, and yet you still have to coach them. I wonder how have you found the sweet spot of being all of the things that a man wants to be, a mentor, a leader, and, and a taskmaster when you have to be. How, how, how has that balance been achieved? Well, I expressed um, from the time I got the job in Phoenix and, and every new player that comes to our program, um, the essence of my coaching is to serve. Um, as a believer in Christ, that, that's what I'm here for. And I tell them all the time, if I get on you, I'm not calling you out, I'm calling you up. Uh, you have potential, and I have to work my tail off to help you reach that potential. And I think guys have embraced that. Uh, they understand that if I'm direct or black and white with them, it's not to make them feel bad. I want them to get paid. I want them to win. I want their families to enjoy it. And um, it served us well. I'm a man of faith. I understand what you're talking about. On the floor, though, it must be nice to place belief in Chris Paul and, and what, what he brings. I, I imagine that, it, <laughs> that engenders a certain amount of faith as, as well. Yeah. How, how do you best explain to me what he's given you, Monty, yeah. not just tonight where it's obvious, 41 points, but just from the moment he yeah. arrives with a young team who had never played a playoff game as, as a group? Yeah. It's huge. I mean, I, I've told people I'm not ashamed to tell anybody that the most success I've had as a coach is with Chris. And, um, you know, the conversations that we have um, off the floor, on the floor, it's always about winning. It's always about how to make other people better. Um, he picks my brain. I pick his brain. I tend to follow him uh, when he has an instinct about a certain situation. And um, for whatever reason, he trusts me to put him in situations where he can be successful. But he's just a great player. He's a leader. Um, he serves his teammates. And we saw that tonight. He was dead tired. And he still was able to make play after play after play. That's his will. And uh, I'm just happy to watch him in this moment. And we still have more work to do, but really gratifying to watch him in this moment. Clearly. And I believe you had your headset on as I was talking to Tim Legler. He steps into a situation where you have so many young players and I, I see a guy like Devin Booker who Monty he's been on my show a couple of times he's 24 years old and he's just so put together and so impressive and I'm not talking about as a player that's obvious I'm talking about as just a young guy I, I was I, I leave the the conversations thinking wow what an impressive what an impressive guy and and to have this sort of coming out party on this stage I'm sure it's not a surprise but what do you believe he has in him in this next round Well, I, I just know how badly he wants to win. Um, I heard about the workouts with his dad. I heard about the connection that he has with his family. Uh, what you see from Book is um, a product of his upbringing, his mom, his dad, um, his brothers, his sister. They're just a tight-knit group. And I think that transfers to the team. Uh, he's all about team. He's all about family. But he's got a killer. He's got a fear, fearlessness about him. And he's not afraid of the moment. That's the thing I love about Book. Sometimes um, he'll make plays or try things on the floor that, you know, get in my crawl. But I know his intention <laughs> is to win, and he's not afraid. So 
That's why I love them. Monty, I, I'm, I'm grateful. I know you're, you got a group that's celebrating, and not every coach will come out to have a conversation. So I certainly appreciate the, the chance to visit with you, and I hope you and your guys enjoy uh, all that's coming with the finals. We look forward to watching your guys play, all right? Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.